yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. By December 1941, the world was at war. Europe was reeling from the Nazis' blitz. In the West, a determined Britain stood alone. Meanwhile, Imperial Japanese armies marched through China. Great nations and civilized peoples were enveloped by a new, terrible sort of war. Everybody knew it was coming, just didn't know when. May or June, probably of 1941, we went on a full alert because we everybody was saying we were going to go to war with Japan. And we said, if we ever get in a war in Japan, we'll wipe them out in three months. We were very arrogant and proud about that. But how mistaken they were. Aboard the USS Nevada, the band played morning colors as the stars and stripes was raised and a giant wave of planes appeared off in the distance. It was 7.48 a.m. And it's on a Sunday, they couldn't have picked a better day to do it because we get paid twice a month and uh, the day before was our payday. So uh, everybody's getting ready to go and spend their 12 or $15 that they got. Moments later, chaos ensued and the world would be forever changed. Japanese dive bombers and fighters rained fire upon American fighters. Easy targets parked wingtip to wingtip on the ground. We heard a screaming aircraft and moments later a terrible explosion. We ran outside the hangar and uh, the hangar beside us uh, had received the first bomb that fell on Fort Island. The first Japanese plane that I saw was flying low and slow in my direction he cut loose his machine guns. So the bullets went over my head and dug a trench in the dirt behind me. But the real target was the pride of the U.S. Navy. The battleships moored just off Fort Island. All along Battleship Row, sleeping sailors awoke to the explosion of bombs and the sounds of alarms calling them to battle stations. All the loudspeakers, all the radios, everything had the, the fact that this is not a Drill, this is a real thing. First shot, I thought somebody ran into us. But there was a lot of, you know, it wasn't that kind of a hit. It wasn't a collision hit. It was a sharp. And you could turn your head, and in just about 30 seconds, the next one hit. And I know. Immediately, the USS Oklahoma was hit by three torpedoes and began to capsize. The California was hit by two bombs and torpedoes. At 8.06 a.m., a bomb crashed through the forward deck of the USS Arizona. Went through five decks and into the lower handling room. And when it went in the lower handling room, there went a million pounds of powder. It blew up, and that's in the pictures you all see of it. And the bow came about 30, 40 feet out of the water. Nearly 1,200 men aboard the Arizona would be killed in the blast. So we loaded the guys in the launches and, uh, to take them to the hospital ship, and we banished ship. Two waves of attacks over 90 minutes had left Pearl Harbor smoldering. I seen uh, all the ships up, uh, battleship rolling fire, the Arizona, the West Virginia, the Tennessee, Nevada. It was a devastating sight I'll never forget. The attack on Pearl Harbor plunged the United States into World War II. Its inspired defense rallied the nation to fight on. With confidence in our armed forces, what happened December 7th is frozen in my mind. With the unbounding determination of our people. I'm very happy that I'm still here to talk about it, but I'm glad that I played a small part. The sailors, uh, they didn't have to be told what to do. We will gain the inevitable triumph, so help us God. <laughs> 